What was your first impression of that ball like that? I was quite impressed that, you know, he was somebody who actually, you, you, you and me, who, who could actually play guitar. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, you know, you think, oh, this is, you know, this is a bit, this is a step up, you know. And him and Steve Brooks had sort of done a bit of songwriting together, but not very much. It was all mostly love songs, if I remember rightly. Obviously, he's a big fan of the Beatles, so, I mean, that's why his, his, his real name was John, by the way, but he changed it to Paul because he liked Paul McCartney, you know. He wanted to play bass, that was his thing. But yeah, no, I, was, I suppose I was impressed because it was actually, it looked like this was going somewhere. But they had a couple of, they had this duo uh, of, of, of acoustic guitars and they, they'd do a couple of, of gigs and, and John, uh, Paul's dad, had also started getting up some shows. So you think, well this is, a, this is more what I want to do, this is what I want to get involved in. And because we did so much playing, and it was what a lot of other people's material, it was great grounding for us as musicians because we were growing up musically together as well. You know, I mean, we were pretty awful to start with. I mean, I think the first show we did, uh, we'd learned the beginnings of a lot of these songs, but we weren't particularly good on the end until <laughs> so there was a lot of nudging and winking going, right, stop, you know. <laughs> <laughs>